Chris and Beck Judd sell Praran townhouse to investor. Chris and Rebecca Judd have sold their sleek Praran townhouse for about $2 million a few days after it passed in at auction. The Herald Sun understands a Melbourne investor snapped up the four-level, four-bedroom stunner at 29 Hinton Lane on Wednesday night. It is understood the investor, who plans to rent out the property, was a latecomer to negotiations, only emerging on Tuesday as a third prospective buyer. Listing agent McGrath, St Kilda, Principal Michael Townsend would not comment on the sale. The home's stylish contents, including its artworks, bedding, children's toys, big screen TVs and ornaments, were part of the sale. A share of the sale price will also be donated to St. Kilda drug and alcohol charity Windana to buy a rehab center. Mr. Townsend had been negotiating with two interested parties after the property passed in on a $1.9 million vendor bid at auction on Sunday. Earlier this week Mr. Townsend said the two prospective buyers both had representatives at the auction but for whatever reason didn't want to participate. The home failed to receive a bid despite 30-odd people turning out to watch it go under the hammer. The property was listed for private sale with a price tag of $2.05 million the following day. The former footballer and his wife bought the townhouse upon returning to Melbourne from Perth when Jug signed with Carlton for season 2008. They had lived there for seven years, including when their first son, Oscar, was born, and have since built and moved into their dream home in Brighton. CoreLogic records show the couple attempted to sell the property in 2013 with a price cut of $1.75 million, but it was taken off the market and listed for rent shortly afterwards. TV presenter and model Beck transformed the property into its current stylish form as part of her online home style series, The Style School on the RebeccaJetLoves.com blog. The makeover involved installing new bathrooms, flooring and a kitchen with integrated appliances that's never been used. Samantha.landy at news.com.au